The presence of Christ right in front of his tabernacle. God has done everything to enable us to experience salvation, but we need to respond. We need to live out our good, out the good news that Jesus is in our lives, right? What is authentic Christianity? Anybody? Authentic Christianity is, it means it's, it's meeting Christ, living Christ, and sharing Christ. Before I go on, um, I'd like to mention something that one of the associate priests in Good Shepherd uh, you know, mentioned in his homily, um, I think it was last week or two weeks ago. He said that there are three W's that we need to be aware of. The first being worship, the second is witness, and the third is the will of God. But we are concerned this afternoon with being a witness. So what is authentic Christianity? I would like to ask you guys to help me out here. If you have your phones, if you have your Bibles, please bring them out and look up the verses. I will be asking people to, to, to read the verses. Okay, Matthew, or let's, let's go there. So meeting and knowing Christ. To meet and know Christ is to be in a personal relationship with Him. So when we say a personal relationship, what, does that, what, what do we mean by that? It means that we know who He is, it means that we have experienced what it is, what He is, but most of all, we experience what, how He works in our lives. So meeting Christ, you know, is to be intimately involved. He has to be intimately involved in our lives and is being a friend to, to Jesus. Why do I say being a friend? Because Jesus himself told us, you know, we are his friends, we are his brothers. Back in the day when he was walking this earth, he called, he did not call us his servants, but he called us his brothers and sisters. <clears throat> to live Christ is to respond to the call to holiness and discipleship. We are to be holy as God is holy, and we are called to Christian perfection. Can, it, can somebody look up Matthew chapter 5, verse 48? Chapter 5, verse 48. Matthew. So be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. So be perfect just as your heavenly Father is perfect. Also, Luke chapter 9, verse 23. I'll be the uh, terror professor for a little while here. Sister Floor. I know you. Brother Money, if you have it, go ahead, please. Then he said to all, if anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Amen. If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Okay? So that is living Christ. We have to carry our crosses, right? Um, my wife has a very heavy cross that she's, she, she takes with her everywhere she goes. Because she carries me. I'm only 200 plus pounds, so. <laughs> and there's also this part here that says we are to be true disciples. That is also what Luke 9.23 says. We are to be true disciples because it, it embodies self-denial, 
okay? It embodies self-denial. We have to deny ourselves, okay? To, to, to be, to live the way Christ lives. Because he gave, him, he gave himself up for us, for our sinfulness, right? We have to embrace the cross, okay? That cross may be a challenge. That cross may be our children who are problematic. That cross may be an addiction that we are trying to overcome. Okay? So it is these practical things that we have to embrace. We have to look at them as something that we rely on Jesus to help us out. Okay? And lastly, it is the way that we follow Christ. He carried this cross from the temple to Golgotha. He carried this cross as a sacrifice for all of us. That is selflessness. And that's, that's embracing his cross. <clears throat> the third is to share Christ. So in Mark, chapter 16, verse 15 to 16, anybody? Eva, do you have? Okay. Very many go ahead. He said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Is that it? Yeah. Continue. One more verse. <clears throat> Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. Thank you. So, to share Christ is to make sure that people understand that Christ is there for us. Correct? Because when we keep Christ to ourselves, we are being what? Selfish. Selfish. <laughs> Thank you. We are being selfish. We are, not, we are not sharing. Okay? What we know. What we have experienced. Every single member of the missionary families of Christ here have shared their lives with others, be it through the treasures, be it through time, be it through just being there for others. Because you never know when somebody you meet will just need you to say good afternoon or good evening. And that, my brothers and sisters, would probably make his day if he's having a bad day. Or it can backfire too. Who the hell are you to, 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 to greet me? You know? But being Christ-like, being walking in the, the steps of Christ, people flock to him. Why? Because he was holy. Because he was attractive. Right? So, further we are to love God and neighbor. That is what I was saying. Mark 12, 28 to 31. We're not going to go through all these, but, you know. One of the scribes, when he came forward, heard them disputing, and saw how well he had answered them and asked him, which is the first of all commandments? Jesus replied, the first is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Think about that for a second. With all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. Are you carrying a cross? Yeah. Thank you. This is, the, the second is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. Okay. So that is love, love, love of God and neighbor. So when we talk about loving God, you know, 
we go with all our hearts. In John 14, verse 15, he says this, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. If you love me, you will keep all my commandments. Next one is, with all our mind. Father said something earlier also about the minds. Is your mind blank right now? I hope it is because I'm hoping that what Father and I are going to be talking about this afternoon would fill your minds too, so you would think about it. So, with all your mind, says 